and he knows his way around any ingredient you throw at him. But I want this. I'm not going to make it easy for him. Love you both. $250,000 is at stake. And then the mentorship that goes with that, I'm going to do my best to whoop some ass. We got this. Yeah. Let's work with it. Your 30 minutes starts now. Go. Remember, guys, this is an ahi tuna burger. A beautiful slaw, a beautiful onion ring, yes? Yes, yes. sir. So the tricky thing about ahi tuna is that you can eat it raw. You want to get a very hard sear on the outside, but keep the middle raw. And that can be difficult. So what are you thinking about here, Jonathan? I'm going to be doing a red cabbage serrano yellow pepper slaw. Awesome. How are we bringing acid into your slaw? Uh, we are going to use lime juice, maybe some lemon from over there. That's what you're looking at, yep. How are we feeling, Chef? Good, Chef. Good. Good What's chef. the plan? I'm going to make a uh, sesame seed encrusted ahi tuna burger Excellent. with a brown sugar soy chili glaze. Beautiful. And some pickled uh, cucumber and carrots for my slaw. It's super important to cut the right thickness of the fish because you don't want it to be cold in the middle. And this cooks very quickly because you don't want to overcook the fish. I would cut two steaks an inch and a half thick so you could sear on each side. Inch and a half. Inch and a half. Use your finger. You have the notches in your finger. Oh, that's big. Slice your slaw a little thinner or find you a mandolin. Right. Fish sauce? Yeah, fish sauce. Fish sauce, you can add a little bit. It has salt to it too, right? Got it. That's a big umami boost. That's it. Devaney, cook yes, your chef. dish, OK? That wonderful yellow mustard that's in the back of you, rub it on your tuna. Take a little bit, and you're just going to put a little crust on it just to rub it. Here's the deal, right? Devaney's receiving a lot of feedback from her team in terms of driving her dish. You know, did she really want to put yellow mustard on her tuna? I'm not so sure. Devaney, no, I gotta get just that. remember, this is your dish. Yes, chef. This is your team, right? But we want to see your personality in this dish. Absolutely, chef. I'm gonna come through with my flavors. I believe you. 10 minutes down, guys, 10 minutes down. Move your knives. Oh, please be careful. Thank you. Working fast, but working efficient, right? Yeah. Working yes, clean. Yes, you understand Whoa. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Oh. Be careful, oh, right? Please. Working, working. Oh, sorry, Intention, chef. focus, yes, chef. breathe through your nose. Chill the hell out. Yeah, just leave him alone. He's getting frustrated. Just leave him alone. Jonathan is just shaking. His nerves were shot before he, he was even in this elimination, and now he's just all over the place. This is just going to just rip apart his chance to win this challenge. Please be careful of your fingers. You're doing good. You got you're the salt going. Amazing. You got the aioli going. Yo, you're, we still got, we still got to make time. onion rings, though. You're, you're, you're making yourself. good time. We still got to God. You OK? Medic. Cut. Medic. No, I'm fine. I'm yes, fine. Medic. Just let me get. <gasps> John doesn't just cut himself. John cuts himself. Stop the clock. Medic. 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 Go. Just go. He is dripping blood, and I'm thinking he needs stitches. He's pretty bloody. Medic is on its way, Jonathan. Yeah. It's my thumb. Have we, have we stopped time? Yes, stop time. You're good. OK. Devaney, just one moment, okay? Breathe for a second. Just okay. hold off for one second. We're just okay. gonna patch this up. I gotta calm my ass down in the kitchen, period. Not a question about it. You know, it would behoove me to slow down a little bit, or else I'm probably not gonna have any fingers by the time it's all over. Back to your stations. Don't touch anything yet. There are 10 minutes left. Ready? Start now. You are done. You are done. Okay. Good me some plot. I like how you're setting things all to right. the side. There you go. The judges need to taste how badly I want to be here. Don't forget about your onion rings in the fryer. Your onion rings are good. They're good. I just looked. You're good. Thank you, thank you. Toss your veggies. Taste. Make sure your flavor's there. Happy? Good. Good. See ya. It's really challenging actually seeing Jonathan and Devaney because when I look at Jonathan, I always see that Swiss chard gratin from his steak challenge. And with Devaney, she puts her whole soul into everything she does. So it's really hard to see these two sweet angels cook against each other today. Let's watch these sesame seeds. I'm concerned about the sesame seeds. Because he he's, he's, he's going to double cook them. He's going to double cook them. Start with some fresh ones. Focus, Jonathan. Tuna! 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 Tuna out. Tuna out, Tuna baby. Out. Tuna! OK, guys, start plating. Two minutes left. Start plating. Slaw on top? Yes. Yes. Okay. Beautiful color. Take those big ass pieces of the cabbage yeah. off. Yeah. 
Make sure your plate is clean, chef, okay? Yes, chef. This is next level chef. Yes, chef. Do you understand? Yes, chef. You've got one of the greatest chefs in the world trying to help you. You're trying to tune everybody else out to listen to her. You're just buzzing so hard in your head, trying to make sure you're getting everything done. Good job, both of you. He'll be proud. Her right now. Go. Good job. Now what we do. Good job. Put it on. Three. Put it on. Two. One. Stop cooking. Oh. Yes. All right, good work, chef. Good job. Yeah, man. Good job. Thank you. Good job. Good job, chef. Thank you, sir. I put my very best on that plate. Everything I'm made of, everything I love, all I can do is leave my heart on that plate. Thank you for your help. No problem, sir. I want to stay in this competition so bad it hurts because this is the avenue to which I'm going to be able to get to do what I want to do every day. I don't want it to end. Right. Naisha, how Gordon, was that? Richard? It's so hard to pick a chef to send into the elimination. And by doing these tastings blind, my back is against the wall if Jonathan didn't pull off the better dish. But the bottom line is, if a chef doesn't perform in an elimination, that's it. Game over. Very intense. They both battled it out. We have two ahi sesame crusted burgers, onion rings, and slaw. On the right, we have uh, lightly pickled vegetables with a pickled ginger, as well as a sweet chili aioli. On the left, it has sliced avocado, and this has a red cabbage slaw with a ginger aioli. Moment of truth here. OK, so nothing wrong when you see rare tuna. Question is, is it ice cold? The actual tuna is cooked beautifully. The right amount of seasoning is on there. Onion rings, nice and crispy. Slaw works well, but it's just too much tuna. It's almost too thick for the bread. It still needs a little bit more sauce, though, and I don't see that layer of sauce. So this one here, strange cut, huh? But again, it's all in the flavor, and how does that taste? OK, there you go. Mm -hmm. Beautifully done. <sighs> Eliminations are very tough because I don't want to lose anybody I've mentored. I just hope the burger that impresses us the most is Devonis. Honestly, I can't afford to lose another team member. This one, for me, is not as dense. The onion rings are seasoned so perfectly. I'm not a big fan on the rough cuts when you're negotiating big, heavy, thick slices of red cabbage. I don't even know if I can call that a slaw. So both tunas are nailed beautifully. We're nitpicking, and it's going to come down to the finest detail. So this is a tough one. Richard, please. My favorite tuna burger is the one with the avocado over here. Wow. I'm going to go for the ahi tuna burger that is the most delicious. And that burger. is the one with avocado. Who is that? That's Jonathan's burger. Jonathan. Congratulations. Me. Thank you so much. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm elated that they chose my food. You know, I'm feeling good. And then it hits you that Devonie's leaving. I'm sorry, Devonie. Young lady, let me tell you something really important. You cook with a lot of passion. You've got incredible talent. Thank you, chef. Say goodbye to your team. Thank you, so I really thought I had it because I put my soul on this plate. I knew what I was cooking for. I know what this means. I know what's at stake. And I left everything on that plate. I put it there.